Hello, my dear first QC students. Welcome to Animal Kingdom, Chapter Four, Session Thirteen. Let me rewind and tell you what all I completed in my previous classes. We successfully completed twelve sessions of non-coordinates, starting two were the introductory classes, and the remaining ten classes were ten different phylums, starting from phylum Porifera. Ending with phylum Hemichordata. Let me share the screen and give you the introduction again. Dear students, if you recall all my past previous twelve sessions, this screen or the slide which is there in front of you right now will give you a summary of our past twelve sessions. The starting two classes were introductory classes. We studied on what basis these animals are classified into different phylum, and I requested everybody to go through my starting four or five classes as many number of times because that forms a strong basic for you to understand the entire chapter four kingdom animalia. Still, it's not late. Hence, it is a pre-recorded class. You can go through those classes again and again, so that the entire chapter will be easy for you. So, let me remind you: this, uh, apart from the starting two introductory classes, we studied ten phylums, so that our total sessions were twelve. So, the first one was Porifera. I'm going to take it now. Porifera we completed, Celandrata, also known as Nidaria, Tinophora, Platyhelminthes, Askyhelminthes, Annelida, Annelida, Arthropoda, the largest phylum if you remember, Mollusca, the second largest phylum, Echinodermata, and finally we ended our session with Hemichordata, Hemichordata, the last phylum of uh, non-chordates. And I also said, hemichordata once was uh, placed under chordata, and now it is studied under non-chordata. So still, most of you may be having uh, not a clear picture. So after again one or two classes from here, you will get a clear picture now. So the eleventh one, I want you to concentrate now. This eleventh one, eleventh phylum, phylum chordata. This is not it is. This is not a very small phylum as we studied the starting ten phylum. This we are going to study in detail again, like non-chordates. What we studied from phylum Porifera till Hemichordata. So now the entire phylums are in front of you. Now I'm going to divide this into two categories. Now I'm going to divide this into two categories. Previously also I have done, but still I'm going to make it now. This starting. Then we have studied as non-chordates. Can also call as invertebrates. So we studied no many basics, many unique points. We successfully completed that. Hopefully, it is easy now. Now we will get into this last phylum called as phylum Chordata. In detail, we are going to study now. I'll move to the next slide. You can have a screenshot of this one. A very important uh, explanation for you now. Suppose, imagine you are a scientist or an experienced biologist. You get an animal, a new species of animal. Now you have to place it under any one of the phylum what you have studied previously, or the other uh, few uh, classes of phylum what we are going to study further. You have to place this animal in a particular group. How? That's what the question. So now we are starting to study with chordate. Now we have have an we have an animal now. Now we are confused whether to keep it under non-chordates or chordates. Non-chordates or invertebrates. We have studied all the characters like Porifera means it should be like this. 
sealant uh, rate means it should be something like that. Platy helminthes means flattened body. Uh, Ascii helminthes means circular body, cylindrical body, and annelid means uh, metamerized body, etc. Now this picture, what is there in front of you, is very very important. Top you can see to call any animal as a quadit, it should fulfill three important characters. So today we are starting up with phylum quadata. To study phylum quadata, we need to know three important points, even from the examination point of view. What are those three important points? Now there is a blueprint I have written. I have drawn a blueprint diagram. It's not a textbook diagram. I have drawn because. It will be easy for you. It is not a 3D diagram. The first thing it should have is a a dorsal noto cord. A dorsal notochord is the compulsory, a must thing that should be present in a chordate animal. What is this a dorsal notochord? Dorsal, if you take our cell, the chest region what I am touching in front of you now in the screen is the ventral side. And the back, nama bennu, yede baga, now ventral side anta consider martivi, ben nidiala, adana now dorsal side anta consider martivi. Same for dog, elephant, turtles, crocodiles, etc., snakes, etc. Dorsal, Ben Jagdali, there should be a rod like. It, should it is what? A rod like. It is not a rod. As I said in biology, a rod like supportive structure for the body. Rod thara, supportive structure for the body. Irtade. Adhanna nao dorsal notochord anta karitivi. Dorsal al irtade adhanna nao notochord anta karitivi. Understood? So that is the first thing should be present. That's why chord. You can see the word notochord. That's why the name has got no chordates. Understood? Chordata anta name sikodike. This notochord is the main reason. The presence of notochord gives the name chordates. The second important thing that should be present is once again a dorsal a dorsal neural tube a dorsal neural tube it is also called as Nerve cord, a dorsal neural tube. Have you seen? Everybody uh, might have seen a cycle tube, right? Or else you may be seen uh, the pipe what you use to water the garden. Pipe, just. Or else you have seen a refill, right? Refill at the center, there is a cavity. So there is a tube on the dorsal side itself, tube, not a thick structure. Tube on the dorsal structure called as neural tube. Understood? That runs from starting, see this anterior part of the body till the posterior part of the body. Both are running. And dear students, also concentrate on the spelling C H O R D. C O R D. So, the first thing it should possess is what? A dorsal rod-like supporting structure called as notochord and a dorsal concentrate both sides I am using a, a means one one single one and a dorsal neural tube that is the second important thing that should be present in the chordate body and the third important structure that is present in a chordate body is
I'll write it neatly. Paired pharyngeal gill slits. Paired pharyngeal gill slits. Paired means jote. Paired means you know uh, you wear a shoes or a chappal. They are paired two in number. Paired meaning you got pharyngeal. Probably everybody might have come across the word pharynx while studying digestive system. Pharynx. So paired meaning you got pharynx meaning you got and gill slits. Gills means you know they are the respiratory structures of organisms living in aquatic habitat. Slits. Slit is something like cut open, cut open, like shirt. In between two buttons, there is a cut open, right? Like that, cut open here, open like this. Now, paired pharyngeal gill slits. Why is the name pharyngeal? Because you can see in this diagram, I have labeled one region here. So here you can see the presence of mouth, and here you can see the presence of anus. So what does it mean? Mouth is also present and anus is also present means this is a, a animal having complete digestive system. So complete digestive system is a common point. You need not mention every time. It is understood. So in this digestive system, you can see this paired gill slits are present near the pharynx region. That's why paired pharyngeal gill slits. It, if it was present at esophagus means towards esophagus means we would have called it as paired esophageal gill slits, but now it is present near the pharynx. So it is called as paired pharyngeal gill slits. Got it? So these are the three important characters that a chordate should possess in its body. I'll repeat again to call any animal as a chordate, it should have three important characters. So the first one is a dorsal notochordate. What is a dorsal notochord? A rod-like supporting structure present at the dorsal side of the body. Second one, a dorsal neural tube. A dorsal neural, I will also add one more word so that it will be easy. It is hollow. I said you, it is like something like a refill or a cycle tube, something like that. A dorsal neural tube. And the third one is paired pharyngeal gill slits. It, is, it's, it varies from 5 to 12, something like that in different organisms. Paired pharyngeal, like this, you can see me on your right corner, this region, pharynx. So this side 5 means even this side also 5. So here you can see 6 is there. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Even on the other side also 6 will be there. And they are cut open. Inside that you will find the gills. So these three important characters should be there to call an animal as a chordate. So most of the students will tell in my class, sir, we do not have gill slits. And why are we called as chordates? Dear students, keep one thing in mind. Once we are formed as zygote in our mother's womb, our mother's womb forms the aquatic medium. It is a liquid medium. So our development starts in the womb of our mother. So there even during the embryo stage, even we do share these three characters. If we were not sharing these three characters, we were not called as chordates. Understood? So once we see after the childbirth, the child will be small. As I said, direct development child will be small and not sexually matured. So that is after delivery. So when we are inside the womb of our mother, we too will be having these three characters and later the structures gets modified. Hope your doubt is clear. So you can take a screenshot of this one and draw this diagram and neatly label this. Understood neatly using scale and pencil. Yeah, my handwriting, uh, yeah, second year students will be knowing my handwriting is very, very good on the board. But I'm using this digital pen for the first time in life to teach you. So my handwriting is not that good while writing. But still, I'll try to make a better handwriting in future classes. Understood? Okay, now, uh, you saw all these three characters, right? And there is mouth, anus, there is a digestive system. And you can see one more important point here. 
see here ns you, you can see i'm using green color now after ns this portion is called as post anal part post means after biologically post and telare after now i can divide the body into three regions anal region idella ile this region what i am marking now this region i can call it as pre anal part pre andre before and this region now which i am marking now anal part and this region what i am marking now call it as post anal part before anus iradna pre anal region anal region and post anal region in cordates if at all there is a tail bala ittu anta helidre adu anus aad mele irutte and for example on the left side i will draw one earthworm now a rough earthworm earthworm mouth we were finding it here and anus at the tip but here it's not like that tail if it is there and we call this region as tail for them but here we see anus aad mele tail irutade after anus only tail will be there that's why we call it as post anal part or post anal tail so now you can pause once again and take a screenshot i'll move to the next slide hope this part is clear for you if it is not clear go back 5 to 7 minutes and again listen this class now you can see your cordates characteristics now this may sound very simple for you if you have attended all my past previous class like all the previous 12 class apart from these three characters now this is very important apart from these three characters which three characters these three characters what are those three characters dorsal notochord dorsal neural tube and paired pharyngeal glands gill slits a more character compulsory irbeku those three characters should be there compulsorily and apart from these three characters cordates have common characters all the cordates the future cordates what we are going to study will have other general characters also it doesn't mean only they have only three general characters those three general characters are standard it is there and apart from that the other characters are now this is easy right they are bilaterally symmetrical humans also you can take when you cut only through the central median axis you will get two equal halves one is the mirror image of other and they are triploblastic the body is made up of three germ layers namely outer ectoderm inner endoderm and middle mesoderm fifth point you concentrate they are all u coelomates they do have true body cavity true internal body cavity that is lined by mesoderm so coelomates you can also call them as u coelomates so sixth i'll just mention this again u coelomates can also be called simply as coelomates sixth one you see organ system level of body organization that point is also common since five seven phylums from our previous class and now seventh point they have they all have cordates are having closed type of circulatory system what is the type uh, what does it mean they are all having well formed blood vessels got it and finally if there is a tail if at all tail is present dog elephant etc even you can take snake also tail will be present after the anus anus aad mele tail irutte so these are the other general characters or salient features of phylum chordata can pause this screen take a screenshot and write neatly i'll move to the next slide and after studying chordates and, and uh, sorry non chordates and chordates it is very important to differentiate them and this uh, slide what is there in front of you on the screen now is a very important five mark question we'll just discuss and i don't think it is uh, 
right to discuss the differences now we will discuss it now once again the class ends once again we finish off coordinates we will discuss the same slide again so your clarity will be still better so coordinates and non coordinates you know now we came across a word noto chord noto chord if you remember my first introductory class if you remember my first introductory class last two i had kept pending one was segmentation and noto chord so today i am completing that noto chord so noto chord is present in coordinates what is that a rod like supportive structure on the dorsal side right so that was the first uh, point we studied in coordinates but here if you see noto chord is absent second thing second point central nervous system is dorsal that's what i said the second point what we studied in coordinate is a dorsal neural tube a dorsal nerve cord which was hollow is present in coordinates central nervous system is ventral solid and double maybe this point is slightly doubtful for you i have take i have drawn a diagram see here this is you this you can assume any invertebrate a cockroach a earthworm once again this diagram is not required for you to learn but without this diagram nothing goes to your head if you see this diagram this is the lateral side lateral view okay this is a representation what i did see this region mouth can you see a mouth and this goes the digestive system digestive tube or elementary canal this forms the head irodilla i'm just telling head region or anterior region anterior region see surrounding this digestive tube on the anterior region there is a ring bale tara surround if this is the digestive tube i have put a watch can you see here assume this hand as a digestive tube surrounding this tube there is a nerve ring nerve ring understood this is the blueprint of invertebrates nervous system now if you study this nerve ring it is having paired ganglia i have said this one before also repeating paired means one the jothe paired ganglia what is that ganglia a collection of nerve cell that is not a true brain but it is acting as a brain got it so on the anterior region surrounding the digestive system there is a nerve ring to this nerve ring you can see ventrally see this is dorsal region benno this forms ventral hmm it is not on the dorsal side dorsal side is only for coordinates so here nervous system is not present see i am putting into mark nervous system is present where ventral side see this one again now ring it will be like this this is brain it is given no it is not a brain it is ganglion so this is the nerve ring ventral if this my hand okay if this is this is ventral so assume two ganglion is present here so now from the ventral side double ventral nerve cord runs this is what here can you see this double ventral nerve cord runs ventrally see here i'll use a blue color so that you will understand clearly see from this region double ventral nerve cord runs here here it is clear in this side you can see this region where i am putting tick mark now 
ಡಬಲ್ ವೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ರನ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಉದ್ದಕ್ಕೂ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ವೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅದೇ ಹಿಂಗೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಸೊ ವೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ನರ್ವಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ರನ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದ ಎಂಟರ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಈ ನರ್ವ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಥಿಕ್ ದ ಹಗ್ಗ ತರ ದಪ್ಪಗೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಏನು ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ದರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೋ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ರನ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟರಲ್ ನರ್ವ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟರಲ್ ನರ್ವ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟಿವ್ ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನರ್ವಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಆಂಟೀರಿಯರ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಆರ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಹೆಡ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಸರೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನರ್ವ್ ರಿಂಗ್ the nerve ring will be made up of one pair or two pairs of ganglia and double ventral nerve cord runs along the entire length of the body ventrally not dorsally and there will be lateral nerves keep in mind this diagram is not required for you to learn or draw but concept is very very important got it but what we saw in quad aids i will show you a dog diagram so that you will understand see this is a dog horse or human you can see here the brain is there on the head region now we have a distinct head right and then from brain a single dorsal i am drawing again there is there it is in orange color also a single dorsal hollow nerve tube runs from head to tail region and you can see anus will be present in this region and after this an anus this tail is there got it so in our case in caudate case the nervous system is uh, central nervous system is dorsal but in invertebrate case it is ventral here it is dorsal single hollow single tube like but there ventral double thick that's why it is called as cord hope this concept is clear for you we'll go to this slide so central nervous system is dorsal hollow and single but this said central nervous system is ventral solid and double so you can just write this point and you should know the concept why because if you are getting into medical and all this concept is very very important for you third point we'll concentrate now pharynx is perforated by gill slits that means they are having a paired pharyngeal gill slits they are having paired pharyngeal gill slits here gill slits are absent if you come across crab prawn and all we have come across gills but they do not have gill slits gill slit is seen only in chordates understood heart is ventral see heart illi irutade ventral side even for us also it is ventral side dog elephant crocodile etc if at all heart is present in non chordates if it is present it should be present on dorsal side and the last point i already explained you a post anal tail post anal part post anal part or tail may be present tail ittu ant helidre anus aad mele irutade anus aad mele yavadara body part extend agirabodu after in a certain body part may be extended but here post anal anus will be at the tip of the body and after anus you won't find anything so these are very important five differences that you should study and write it in exam this is a very important five mark question this is a favorite question for the examiner examiners this is a very important five mark question and dear students most of you come from very good school a very good language very good english and when there is then when we ask to write the differences differences should be exactly as it is there in front of you on the screen now you should not write for example chordates first five points are writing as a paragraph and second uh, non chordates point you are writing in next paragraph that is not a difference why because notochord is present will be the first point in first paragraph and in the second paragraph gill slits are absent that is not difference you will get zero marks for that one when uh, when we were asked to uh, submit the assignment during this pandemic for first year pc students most of the students have done the same mistake and they have lost the marks see write a note on quadrant is different write a note write a note 
on quadrates and non quadrates is totally different write the differences between quadrates and non quadrates is a different question differentiate quadrates and non quadrates is totally different understood so differences should be written like this using the scale and pencil and complete the sentence just because i have used to explain this slide like this noto quad present no you don't write like that noto quad is present this side noto quad is absent because most of you write what noto quad is present on one side on the other side you just write absent absent means what is absent so try to improve your writing skills that is very important most of the students seven out of 10 students have lost the ability to write and present properly to present your answers in examination you need not be a distinction student it's very very important and common sense plays a very important role here so this is a five mark question you have to present just there are only five lines you have to present neatly using scale and pencil the students this is the difference between quadrates and non quadrates and this is a very important question from the examination point of view you can pause take a screenshot and write very neatly in your study material without seeing i suggest if you take my suggestion write another two times without seeing neatly again understood so this will help you to write in examination signing off from today's class thank you